So I've been lucky enough to have the Revel for the last couple months and uh, we have just got our Winnebago Echo Pop Top. If you're wondering why we have both, this one we ordered in April and they told us it was not going to get here until uh, late 2022, so fall. And we decided to go ahead and buy something that was on stock. I'll tell you about the Revel in a second, but let me give you a tour. So the front cab is nicely set up, has a flip seat, has these unique bolsters that can clip on. And it's because the cab is a bit lower than, uh, than the Revel. It's kind of like a uh, more SUV height than giant pickup like the Revel. Then we got the two rear seats. This was important for us to have actual uh, shoulder seat belts for both of our kids. But we got seat belts here, nice table. We opted for the uh, sound bar. The sound bar is a great Bluetooth speaker when we want to listen to some tunes. And I'm sure the kids will watch TV when we drive. But what really sold us on the Echo was this. This is the pop top. But this really adds so much space. So now we have the ability to keep our kids up here without setting up the bunks or anything like that. And it's a nice, comfortable space. USB and stuff, and it's very cheap. But easy, easy reason to get something with a pop top. So much space, it's awesome. Then we got the kitchen. It's a little cover. Looks like I have a little drip from my faucet. Propane, uh, what we don't have in the Rebel microwave. It's a nice family size fridge. Let's go to the back. And the back has so much storage. So we can keep the beds aside or fold down these things, like bolsters, to make it into one kind of big giant queen bed. Lots of storage, great views, uh, really cool. And then look at look at the amount of storage I get. I almost get like these half closets, drawers, full size bathroom, cassette toilet, some storage, mirror, faucet, and then everybody's favorite feature: slide that open. And you have a full-size shower. Look at this. Look at the amount of space. So the Revel we have on Outdoorsy. Uh, you can check it out at LunarRoverVanRental.com. Right now it's pretty much booked all summer. So we have this for ourselves and our family. And the Revel is a rental, rental that's uh, you know earning a pretty good amount. Of and this is going to be our main adventure rig. I'll do a full detailed video about the differences between the Revel and the Echo, and I can tell you there are some. You know, the Revel it drives really well, has very cool comfort, uh, comfortable seating, comfortable wheel, very, very nicely finished, and the Transit is definitely more of a, you know, feels like a delivery van. It's got some cool technology though, but it's, it's I would say, a little step below the quality of the Sprinter. But uh, it's gas, it's all wheel drive. So some of the benefits of the Sprinter, but in a, in a little different platform. And the big thing is the Revel drives like an SUV. I mean, it, it feels like an SUV. It uh, has a EcoBoost turbo engine. So it's got plenty of power and it, it really, really does not drive as big as something that it is. While the Revel, uh, if you've driven a Revel, the Revel to me feels exactly like an F-250. You're high up, it's a little more bouncy. Obviously it's better off-road, but it's definitely a different ride. Let me show you outside. Outside, I do love that it has a screen door, a physical screen door, which is cool. There's a front compartment here, and in in uh, an optional, uh, an op in this front compartment, you can get an optional uh, exterior kitchen we couldn't get it because we have the pop top 
I think they wanted to keep the weight low, but I still get the outdoor shower portion and plenty of space for a cooler, all our tools. The propane, we got two uh, normal household canisters. We had a class A that had a giant uh, propane tank and it definitely took some work to find out where to fill it. Well, here we can just swap these tanks out at any gas station. Huge storage bay in the back. It does have a hitch, so I'm gonna add an extension and put uh, my XO, Yakima XO rack on it. This bay is heated and has power. So it's, it's essentially like uh, an extra space for all your gear. Around the back, we got the water system, easy, just like the Rebels water system here. Um, big battery, only one compared to the Rebel has two inverter. And then this is a big difference between the Rebel. This one, we got the generator. And I don't know how much generator use will have it'll be nice with air conditioning but with the revel we haven't had we haven't had any need for power other than the lithium that's there so we'll see if we use the generator so follow along as i outfit this one uh, do a little mods and get it kind of ready for for camping and then uh, follow along if you want to more content about the Rebel. Of course, if you want to rent the Rebel, just LunarRoverVanRental.com. Thanks for watching.